purpose of our program is pretty much the purpose of every other JRTC program. And that's uh, pretty much centered on citizenship, developing individuals who ultimately will grow up uh, to become great citizens of our country. Uh, and so we're trying to establish that foundation of uh, love of love of self, love of country, uh, so that they in fact will grow up to, to help make this country continue to prosper. Every every kid generally has some some sort of gift, you know. Uh, and if you're athletic, that gift is really identifiable. You're a good athlete. You can you can do stuff athletically that other people may may struggle to do. Other kids are musically inclined. Other kids may have just tremendous voices and they could be you know great you know members of the choir. But then there's some kids that um, their gifts are, are difficult for them to find. Maybe difficult for them to deep find. So what ROTC does, I think, is what again what makes it special, is that it, it it affords a variety of different things that the typical kid who's looking for something may not find anywhere else. Uh, we have uh, a marksmanship program, we have an academic team program, we have color guards, we have drill teams, we have physical fitness teams. Typically, there's something there that a kid, the average kid, can find that they could do pretty well. Drill is the formation and movement of military blocks. There are two major types of drill. There is a regulation drill and an uh, exhibition drill. Regulation is the formation and movement of uh, military personnel in military formations based off a written code. Exhibition is more of a free form type of drill to where it lets creativity and uh, inspiration lead uh, platoons and squads to make up their own team. As the commander, my job is to basically lead the team. It, uh, I command from the outside of the block. I give out orders. Uh, I make sure everybody's following regulation and so on. Each year we have new guys coming in and so you have to teach them somehow. So you eventually learn through other people teaching you, other seniors set the example, you learn to live by their example, and then you eventually set the example yourself. I think they're doing a heck of a lot better this year than last year. We have better training, more the guys are more enthusiastic, and overall it's just a better team. If the seniors continue to set examples, and they do their best to lead by example, all the new guys are filled with enthusiasm, and really want to come back, and do good, and I see the Seals winning more national championships and state championships in the future. Time management's a really big deal in ROTC because we work here all the time practicing, doing what we need to do. Um, but in order to do that, you need to keep up your grades. So it helps a lot with turning your assignments in on time, making sure you get things done in order to be able to compete and practice. Well, as commander of the unarmed drill team, I make sure that everyone in the block and everyone, everyone else in the unit is um, doing what they're supposed to be doing. And if I need to go do something else for one of the senior naval science instructors, um, I delegate the job to someone else, usually my XO or one of the other higher ranking cadets and I just make sure that things get done correctly and on time. Being XO you have to be able to, if the CO is sick or unable to go to practice at some point, you have to be able to take control of practice and be able to know how to run things effectively without her there. In the future I hope the team will be better because we have a lot of newbies on the team right now and so since there's a lot of newbies they'll be more experienced and have a longer time on the team since they're just now getting on it. I love the drill teams. I really, really enjoy watching teams um, execute precision, you know, in a, in a in a physical way. You know, drill is exactly from my perspective. Drill is like a physical symphony where you get all the all the players and all the the, the light bulbs and the and in, in the case of the unarmed team, the, their their arms and their slaps and all that stuff all being choreographed and executed precisely. It's 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 a real joy to watch.
the uniform is uh, the Naval Service uniform. Uh, what it does for the unit, it helps identify those individuals as being part of ROTC and it also uh, represents something more than that, something bigger than that. It represents uh, the men and women who have died for our country and uh, it represents the Navy and also I think it, it uh, helps that individual uh, with a sense of pride and professionalism when they wear the uniform. The purpose of military inspections is to ensure that the cadets are fo following a basic uh, uniform uh, regulation. Uh, for example, uh, knowing how to put the uniform on properly, uh, knowing how to wear the uniform properly, uh, understanding grooming standards. So there's certain things that the cadets need to know uh, when it comes to uh, wearing the uniform. In JROTC, uh, we have about four books worth of curriculum for the four classes that there are. There's a Naval Science 1, Naval Science 2, Naval Science 3, Naval Science 4. Uh, as a normal student that's not in academics, what they would do is each year they would progress and learn more about the different topics in their respective grade. In academics, we try to take all of the material at once and put in some sort of crash course that we can use to do better on our tests later on. Um, we called uh, ourselves the Sea Monkeys many, many years ago uh, because no, you know, nobody would ever associate a team that that can crush you academically with somebody called a sea monkey. But our guys would go and, and uh, we, we routinely demolish our competition because again, these kids put in a lot of time and effort working on the knowledge that uh, academic uh, students in ROTC have to learn over the course of four years. These kids cram into their heads uh, in, in the period of one year. So it's a lot of work to learn, but they're willing to put in that effort. We have a practice every morning, and there we study for the tests that we're going to take later on. Uh, we try to absorb a lot of information. We work together in study pairs or study groups, uh, and we try to learn as much information as possible. Uh, we are kind of we're kind of competitive with each other. With each test that we take, we kind of set up a ranking system, and it's just kind of a fun little game and a fun little team mixed together. The purpose of PT for competitions is getting us ready so that we can compete against other schools and our goal is to have the max number of push-ups, sit-ups and have the fastest run time. So we practice PT to obtain that goal. Being physically fit affects my life because I am currently listed in the United States Marine Corps, like I'm going to boot camp this summer and going to PT helps me stay physically fit for the boot camp portion. Commander Solis uh, gives us a goal at each day and we do as many sit-ups at once to reach this goal and we switch on and off so it's not as straining on our bodies and it helps us in competition to reach our goal which is 250 sit-ups without stopping and with push-ups it helps us get hopefully 50 push-ups and that's always my goal. One, two, three, five! I think, again, one of the things that's made Fire Bluff the best is, again, the that group mentality of being willing to work hard. Uh, I'll give that to the first group of kids who came into the program. They they were hardworking, tenacious. Um, they were not afraid to put in the time and effort. And they set, in essence, the standard. Uh, that standard's been you know, promulgated from year to year to year. So as new kids come in, they pretty much know that there's going to be a requirement for hard work. Uh, and so no one comes in uh, without expecting that if they want to be at the top level of our teams, that they're going to have to put in hard work, lots of time, lots of effort uh, to do that. And so I think that's what's made us, you know, continue to be so successful for so many years.
team's got a ring. Our role is to develop good citizens, and these kids are going to leave here uh, taking skills with them that are going to make them great citizens in, in any in any occupation. Champion. I'm a champion.